ഇപ്പോൾ ഇന്ത്യൻ വിദേശകാര്യ വക്താവ് മാധ്യമങ്ങളെ കാണുന്നുണ്ട് അതിലേക്ക് separately of course the foreign secretary also spoke to the deputy foreign minister of ukraine again on the modalities of getting our students out particularly from near kharkiv from pisochin it's the 24 hours usually um, if i have missed out something just above the 24 hour mark please do let me know but uh, the crowd on the western borders uh, that is the uh, you know overall crowd i don't mean only indians um continues to fluctuate um we discussed the border with poland yesterday um movement was very smooth but over the night uh, in the early morning it was clogged so some students took more time i as i just came in i was given a report that the situation has improved there so it's very difficult you see a lot of videos and stories so it goes up and down a movement has been um, steady and progressing well across the hungarian slovak and the romanian borders and uh, of course thankfully the overall number of indians on the western borders uh, have waiting to cross has actually reduced uh, sharply as the numbers indicate we have only a movement from about 17 to 18000 so there aren't that many now ready on the western borders waiting to cross uh, our embassy team uh, which is now uh, you know the part of the team which is operating from lviv is providing assistance uh, i think at the railway station as well as at uh, other places they are also coordinating um, i wanted to take a minute here to emphasize that look uh, while the embassy team of course is small and trying to be on the ground we also are in touch with other partners as well as student coordinators who are trying to assist uh, students uh, while we may not be able to reach everyone physically or be there we are trying to see the best options when somebody calls us or indicates what where they are this is the process uh, that's going on and as i have mentioned repeatedly uh, our um, embassies our strength uh, teams have been increased augmented and i'm happy to see that uh, you know this large number of people have been able to cross over um just a word on the humanitarian assistance that we have uh, been uh, providing or pro have promised announced um i think the first tranche of course went yesterday morning and then subsequently i understand three uh, those three tranches went to poland so first tranche and then two more one was a c17 i think and the fourth one has reached romania uh, this humanitarian aid consists of medicines medical equipment uh, other relief material tents etc um this is uh, broadly where i wanted to share with you what we have in terms of updates um if there's something i've missed happy to answer in the questions um okay uh, let me open the floor and start this side today i'm going to start with you ma'am प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ फॉर द रिकॉर्ड सर विजयलक्ष्मी हूँ इंडिया टीवी से कल जिस तरह से खबरें आई पहले रशिया के प्रेसिडेंट के हवाले से जो प्रेस रिलीज आई फिर उनके डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री के हवाले से कि कैसे भारतीय छात्रों को ह्यूमन शील्ड बना करके वहां पर रोकने का प्रयास या यूक्रेन की तरफ से किया जा रहा है फिर यूक्रेन की तरफ से काउंटर क्लेम्स किए गए हमारे एन का भी एक वक्तव्य सुबह आया क्या हमने इंश्योर किया है कि ऐसा नहीं है और अगर ऐसा नहीं था तो रशिया ने इस तरह का क्लेम क्यों किया हमने क्या डिप्लोमेटिकली कुछ उनसे बात की जस्ट वन सेकंड വിദേശകാര്യ വക്താവ് അരിന്ദം ബാഗ്ജിയാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ മാധ്യമങ്ങളോട് സംസാരിച്ചത് ഇതുവരെ ആറായിരത്തി നാനൂറോളം പേരെയാണ് നമ്മൾ മടക്കി കൊണ്ടുവന്നിട്ടുള്ളത് പതിനെണ്ണായിരത്തോളം പേരെ സുരക്ഷിത സ്ഥാനത്തേക്ക് മാറ്റി എന്നുമാണ് അദ്ദേ